pressure not on him, but I mean, he's down 2-1 right now. That's when the pressure turns on. Yeah, I mean, this is the biggest match of his life right now, bar none. And here we go. It's Chansu on this arcane giant druid build. Cydonia running back the hunter here. And a, I think a much stronger starting hand here for Cydonia. Oh, he's yeah. got Secret Keeper, and he's got the secret, I think, that you, one of the secrets you want versus Druid. Yeah, Cat Trick would be slightly better. And uh, Freezing Trap, though, is situationally good. A lot of times you're able to, you know, get an innervated minion Frozen Trapped, and that's just amazing. But uh, sometimes you get a, a happy little tree. Yeah, that's, that's the kind of the sad spot of that. Now, the blessing is most of the time Living Roots is suited for removal mm -hmm. against this build. Like, this Secret Keeper is, this is getting killed straight away. Sure. So the Freezing Trap will eventually net some value for him here, unless Chauncey's able to make more tokens. But looking at his Druid build, it's not, it's not really like that. I mean, he's, he's kind of going all in on the end game. Yeah, he's got a lot of top end here. He has the Ancient of War, the Ragnaros, and the Malagos at the top end of the Druid. He's got a Barnes even in there to try and pull out either an Emperor, a Rag, or a Malagos. So a lot of threats in this Druid deck, but at the moment, Chan Su can almost play his entire hand. That's how low threat he has. Yeah, this, this is not a strong opening hand for Chan Su. Moonfire is a card that it can play utility, but for the most part, this is a combo card with Malagos. Against some of the more aggressive builds, it can help buy you time. But early on, this is the last thing he wanted to see. Yeah, it, it combos very nicely with his Azure Drake, actually, to get some work done. So that's a fortunate pickup for him now, potentially. He Cydonia can... chooses not to play the Freezing Trap and instead Hero Powers here. And that's really interesting to me. To, that gives Chansu the green light to just do whatever he wanted this turn. Yeah, if you play the Freezing Trap, it definitely makes it a lot harder to play Innervate or Wild Growth because you're afraid of potentially Cat Trick. It definitely makes it a lot harder to just Innervate out of Azure Drake because now you're playing into Cat Trick and Snipe. But what he wanted to do is squeeze in an extra two damage so that he could uh, play the trap on the next turn with the Cloaked Huntress for free. So is deceiving your opponent and trying to make them have to play around secrets worth more or less than two damage to you. Right, and now in this position, he's going with Animal Companion to try to offset the Azure Drake here, and he rolls Leoc. And he's Ooh. super punished for this. Th this, uh, this, uh, this is, I think this is the first misstep of the match for Cydonia. Yeah, I don't like the way that uh, this opening has really unfolded. He, he kind of pigeonholed him in, in himself into having to play the Cloaked Huntress if he wanted to get the Freezing Trap up by doing the Hero Power on turn two. And since then, that's kind of forced him to have awkward turns and that's kind of the gamble he took, trying to force out that extra two damage there, and it doesn't look like it paid off for him. Nice yeah, tracking, not very kind as well. I mean, glad to see two kindly grandmothers hitting the bin at this point. Very low value card at this stage, and kind of in this matchup in general, just not super strong unless you're threatening like big hound master turns or something. Uh, but now, Azure Drake's got value. He's been able to wipe up an animal companion, and I think Chansu can He's got some good information here. Yeah, he's moon firing to check for the cat trick, which would be cleaned up by the spell power swipe. Sees that it's not cat trick, can identify from this point that it is either snipe or freezing trap, and most likely will hold the attack on the Azure Drake just to play around that freezing trap and keep a minion on the board. Yeah, the spell power is definitely a threat for Chansu. There's no need for him to attack right away. Right away. Now, the caveat to this is that Cydonia if he has Eagle Horn Bow here, we'll squeeze out some extra damage from that. Sure, gets the secret off on the bow and then gets an extra charge. But I, I definitely still think just having the threat of the spell power is worth taking three extra damage in the long run from Eagle Horn Long, Eagle Horn Bow. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with you in that stage. Just, it's, it's a really awkward state for Cydonia. He goes, nah, he knows it's Freezing Trap, so gotta play honest. Yeah. You see Cydonia just stranding the Drake there, developing out of the Eagle Horn bow so he can get those additional charges. Yep, no need to swing with the Eagle Horn bow here as well. He knows that there is not a copy of Harrison Jones in, uh, in Chansu's Druid build, so just saving the charges in case he needs to use them on minions, totally reasonable here. Mm -hmm. And Chansu developing the Arcane Giant this turn, and since he's developing an 8-8, he figures, you know what, let's get this Freezing Trap out of the way so that my giant can't potentially be stranded by the Freezing Trap. And now Cydonia is under some heat. <laughs> he has the ability to remove this this turn if he wants to and try and play towards the kind of the game plan he played last 
game, which was just survive until Ragnaros and hope that Ragnaros can get the job done. Against Druid, Ragnaros is a lot less likely to just get the job done because there's so much top end in the Druid deck. Whereas before, you know, the Mage deck only had a very limited top end. But with the way that his hand's panning out, I think it's his highest percent chance to just win the game. I think it's by far. I mean, if you look at if you look at the way his development turns are going to go, he's just taking eight a turn if he doesn't kill this. So taking yeah. eight now and expending the kill command, hoping you can buy that value later down the road. If he doesn't do that, this the game is lost, I think, at that point. Yeah, because he's not going to win by racing down Chansu. No. Chansu's at 26. Druid has Feral Rage, Druid has Raven Idol, which can find additional healing, so the, the race is not going to be won that way. And Chansu chooses Minion and finds Fandral. Yeah, Chansu identified that this is going for a value game here. So my opponent just used a kill command to kill my 8-8. How can I extend value? Spells are not high value. Spells are great for tempo. Minion's a lot better for value, and uh, he gets rewarded with his choice there, picking up a really solid minion. But I, I like the read there of the yeah. situation of the game. That's really smart. I mean, the fact that he just saw eight life expended from Cydonia, that the kill command was sent into the Arcane Giant. Yeah. He knows it's going long. It's a value game now. Very strong read from Chansu. And Cydonia, it, it's tough to ever leave a Fandral on board. Oh, yeah. That would have caused a 10-10 Ancient of War, potentially. It's the ultimate dream. Chansu now. Ah, this is... It's, it's such an awkward position because once again we're facing the secret. It's always awkward. The, the only information that he could possibly have at this point is that it's less likely to be Freezing Trap. Because there's already been one right. played, right. And, it, you know, the secret's just been top decked, so it would have been played in any situation. So... Six damage finds its way onto... I'm sorry, four damage onto Ancient of War. And let's Sidonia able to clear it. If he does clear it, he takes a little bit of damage himself, <laughs> falling down... Very low. I mean, that is something to note here, too. The fact that he took eight from the Arcane Giant. He's at 13 right now. Mm -hmm. This is actually a really big turn because if the Ragnaros doesn't hit the Ancient of War here, he's taking five damage potentially. If he's taking Maybe five more. damage, he is dead. So he has to be able to identify oh. here that there's burn damage in the hand of Chonsu. I mean, how can he have that read, though? Chansu's just... The swipe's been sitting there for a while, maybe. There hasn't been too many swipeable I mean, are you, but... thinking, are you thinking nine damage from opponent's hand? Not often. Not often do you think that. He knows one can of them you... is Azure Drake. The can other you... two are fresh. Yeah, it's, it's really hard to make the read almost impossible. And even if you have some information, how do you win if you're not getting this Ragnaros to go eight to face? Exactly. Like, the, the game will just drag on, and you'll be at a more disadvantage because Chansu will have more time to turn the five cards he has in his hand into board advantage. So I think the risk is necessary here by Cydonia to yep. have a chance to win this game. And it just so happens that Chansu has the burn to punish him for it. Indeed. And if there's anything to look at here, it is the early turns of oh, Cydonia yeah. squeezing that extra two damage. It certainly hurt. 